How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious videos that are leaving viewers baffled. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. Doll collectors Lee and Lindsay Steer were shocked one morning in March 2022 when they discovered one of their newest additions was in a different position. They checked their CCTV and were stunned at what they saw. Take a look. The doll just tilts forward seemingly for no reason at all. Lee and Lindsay run a haunted objects museum in Rotherham, South Yorkshire. This particular doll appeared one day on their doorstep with no note or any other information. It would appear it was donated by an anonymous benefactor that perhaps no longer wanted the doll for what are now very obvious reasons. When the couple uploaded the footage to social media, they immediately received a strong response, with many of their followers claiming it looks like the doll's being hugged by some invisible force. They say that the way the doll slouches forward, it looks like a young child is clutching at it. Lee, who's been involved with paranormal research for over 20 years, claims he's never seen anything like this before. The couple open their Haunted Objects Museum to private viewings and paranormal investigators regularly. The store contains allegedly haunted and cursed items from all over the world. So what do you make of this moving doll? Is it just gravity or is there a spiritual presence attached to the doll as suspected? Let me know your take on this in the comments section down below. Sticking with eerie dolls, this next one is believed by many paranormal investigators to be one of the most haunted dolls in the world. The doll, known as Let Me Out, was discovered by antique collector Kerry Walton. Walton found the doll underneath a house in Wagga Wagga, a rural town in New South Wales, Australia. It's thought the doll is over 200 years old and once belonged to a fortune teller in Europe. Soon after bringing the doll into their home, the Waltons began to hear strange noises in the night and discovered scuff marks in their hallway as though something had been running around. The eerie nighttime activity became so frequent the family had the doll looked at by a local psychic. The medium said the doll once belonged to a child who had drowned. Allegedly, as the psychic made this claim, the clock on the wall fell to the ground and the doll shifted its position. Animals don't respond well to the antique figurine either. Dogs often bark ferociously as soon as they see or get near the doll. Interestingly, the Waltons don't believe the presence associated with Let Me Out is malevolent. In fact, quite the opposite. They believe that once the doll came into their lives, their fortunes changed for the better as their antiquing business took off. The doll's infamy has grown over the years and it now even has its very own Facebook page and Insta account. Let Me Out even does countrywide tours on occasion. So if you're lucky or unlucky enough, you may get a chance to see this eerie doll for yourself. I'll put a link to its socials in the description box down below. It seems that more and more people around the world are spotting strange flying objects in the skies over Earth. This next clip uploaded by Imperadox on Instagram shows a UFO sighting in Peru. In April 2020, residents of Lima looked up into the sky to see a strange formation of lights hovering in the air. As you can see, a crowd gathers as more and more people spot the mysterious lights in the sky. The lights form a clear pattern and seem to blink or flicker. A lot of viewers said it was aliens visiting our planet. Some commenters speculated that the dots weren't individual objects at all, but rather points on a much larger craft. Yeah. 
In recent years, the Pentagon in the US has admitted there are flying objects in our atmosphere that have no known origin. This comes on the back of a spate of sightings captured by the US military. These sightings were captured on sophisticated military grade equipment and show high speed objects flying through the air that the US government can't quite explain. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. So what are we witnessing here? Are we getting closer to knowing that we really aren't alone in the universe? Or could we be seeing secretive military tech from another country? If these sightings keep increasing at the rate they are, it seems time will tell. TikTok user Throat Sing King regularly uploads clips of himself practicing the ancient art of throat singing. This unique style of singing originated in Mongolia, but it's practiced the world over, often in Buddhist chanting. E Throat sinking regularly practices his skills isolated in nature while meditating or chanting. However, one encounter in the woods has left over a million TikTok viewers stunned and confused. Take a look at what happened. All right. While singing, the OP notices a deer has approached in the background. However, it's not the deer that's left viewers so freaked out. Also in the background are two dark figures lurking among the trees. Shortly after the video went live, hundreds of comments suggested that the chant had summoned some kind of forest spirit or cryptid. Throat Sing King is dedicated to his art form and isn't known for pulling publicity stunts or pranks. This is why this sighting has drawn so much attention. It appears to be genuine and no one can quite explain the mysterious figures. So unless this happens again, this bizarre sighting will have to remain a complete mystery. This next photo was sent to us by one of our viewers, Ula Leilani Scanlon. A short while ago, one of Ula's friends was having their roof renovated. They took a series of snaps to document the work that was being done and didn't think too much of it. However, when they looked more carefully at one of the pics, they were shocked at what they saw. At first glance, everything does indeed look normal. However, in the front window, there appears to be a young boy standing there. The homeowner's son was home at the time. However, this isn't their child. Our viewers suggested two things. It's either an intruder or we're looking at a ghost. Either of these options aren't too appealing considering the homeowner's son was actually inside the building at the time. Our viewer Ula, who lives in St. Lawrence County, New York, near where this house is located, says the area is full of all kinds of strange happenings. Ghosts and UFO sightings are said to be an almost common occurrence. So what do you make of the boy in the window? Is it a squatter, a ghost, or is there another way to explain the sighting? Drop your theories with the rest of the community in the comment section down below. Before we take a look at a creepy lighthouse in upstate New York, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Staying in New York State, our last entry comes from another one of our viewers, Angie May Ordway. 
Angie runs a paranormal investigation group called Paranormal Souls on YouTube. In this clip, the team are exploring the old lighthouse in Dunkirk, New York. As evening sets in, the team explores the old property. Built in 1827, the light tower was first established on Point Gratiot and worked in tandem with a pierhead beacon to guide ships into Dunkirk Harbour on Lake Erie. Over the years, the property has become infamous for being haunted. The old lighthouse keeper's living quarters are said to be full of mysterious happenings. Employees and tourists alike have reported music playing, disembodied whispering and doors opening and closing, seemingly all on their own. In the late 1800s, the lighthouse keeper at the time and another worker tried to rescue two children who were drowning in Lake Erie. Sadly, the rescue attempt didn't go well. The worker and the two children died. Many locals believe that their spirits linger around the lighthouse even today. Back in the tower, Angie and the team begin to hear some strange noises. Later in the evening, one of the team members tries to communicate with any resident spirits. Tell us what you're saying, and we can have a conversation if you like. That's when one of the cameras captures something strange. Take a look. Tell us what you're saying, and we can have a conversation if you like. Slowing that down, a dark shadow walks by from right to left. The investigators didn't notice anything at the time, but there's clearly something going on in that room. This isn't the only time something strange has been caught on camera in the Dunkirk Lighthouse. Some years ago, during another paranormal investigation of the property, a mysterious orb of light was captured in a photo. If you zoom in, you can see what appears to be a face inside the orb. What makes this sighting particularly eerie is that the face bears a striking resemblance to Peter Dempsey, one of the original lighthouse keepers. Dempsey worked on the property from 1885 to 1902. He always sported a striking moustache, one that appears to be a close match to the face seen inside the orb. So is this old lighthouse really haunted? Given the reports from employees and locals alike, the mysterious orb of light, and now this shadowy figure, certainly does make you wonder whether something paranormal is going on in Dunkirk Harbour. Now if you want to see some more mysterious videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, we have a spooky playlist right there that'll keep you entertained well into the evening, we promise. Now remember to check out our awesome range of hoodies and tees. There's a link in the description box below and there's a merch shelf just under the video player there. Check it out. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 